Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to create a basic Java application with Gradle and then I will show you how to create a jar of that project using Gradle which you can then run with java minus jar command. So let's get started. First I'm going to go to gradle.org and from there I'll install Gradle. I'll choose the install manually and I'll just download the binaries only. Next I will extract that file into a location so this location doesn't matter you can keep it anywhere and from there I will go to this bin directory I will right click on this uh, directory use pressing the shift button on the keyboard which will sh give me this open PowerShell window here option from there I will simply run PWD to get the project location sorry uh, Gradle file location Next, I want to create a folder where I want to create the project. So I'm creating the project in this folder. In here, similarly, I'll press Shift and then right click, which will give me the PowerShell. And in here, I will paste the copied location and uh, press Gradle and run the task called Wrapper. which as you can see gives me this file. Now I'm going to open this using code. You can use any editor. Next I'll create a file called build.gradle. And inside initially I will add one plugin called application. I'll set the Java source and target compatibility. Next I'll set the version name. So that's it for the builder gradle and now I'll create the Java class which I want to execute. So to create the Java class first we need to create some folders. So this is Gradle convention. Uh, it is not mandatory, but uh, you can customize it uh, if you want, uh, where you have to mention the customization uh, in this file. For now, I'm creating the Java file into this directory following the convention. So my file name will be main.java. Here the code will be very simple. So main class and system out print line hello world. Finally, we have to mention this main class name into the build.gradle file, and that's all. Now let's open the terminal into this location and run dot gradle w clean build. This will compile the file and create a jar file into the build directory. Now we can run this jar file using java minus jar command lib and it will not work because the manifest is not set. To set the manifest we have to add another block to the build.gradle which is this jar manifest and the main class which our main class is defined over here save it and let's go back to the terminal and clean build it again now if we run the jar we should get the results now to add third party library we have to add the repository first where we are going to get the library from and the dependency that we want to use. For now let's use the commons lang but we, you can use anything. Now let's update the main class to use some of the functionality of the lang. I am going to simply use the string util is blank function from the commons lang and I have to of course import the library. So that's all uh, but here if uh, let me show you if I create 
the jar again it will not get the library because we also have to mention how we are going to add the library into our project for that we have to add uh, one line over here which is just this it's configuration compiles this compile collect how it is going to collect the libraries and put it into the jar so that is defined over here now if we go to the terminal again and create clean build and then run we should get the hello world as well as the result of this line so that's it that's all i wanted to show you in this video i hope you liked it if you have any question feel free to ask in the comment below uh, the code will be hosted in github and the link will be provided in the video description so that's it have a nice day bye bye